Hey folks, this is Vincent Natalie with Dad's Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to play The Captain is Dead. This game supports 2 to 7 players, it's for ages 14 and up, and the average playtime is 60 to 90 minutes. This is a cooperative game where the captain is dead, and we, as crew members, will be trying to engage our warp drive before we're blown to smithereens. So, without further ado, let's set our phasers to fun! Oh, okay. Set your tricorder to party mode. We're gonna play The Captain is Dead. Let's get Star Trekky. Damn it, Jim, I'm a doctor, not a reviewer. <laughs> that should be it. <laughs> Just That's the outro. <laughs> okay, so we've set up a two-player game here. Um, we're each gonna control two different people, though. The rule book doesn't state this. In fact, the rule book doesn't state a lot of things that I had to look up. That's coming later, but it does say that for a single player game, it's recommended that you control three or four people. So logically, if there's a two player game, you should probably have three or four people or three or four characters. So we're each gonna control two. They're each gonna have their own hand and you're gonna play them in their appropriate order. Um, so what's gonna happen is um, there's different crew members that you can uh, basically enlist to have for your own. There's the Admiral, for example, which is a blue card. You've got the chief engineer here, which is an orange card. Each one has different abilities and also these discount symbols that as you perform actions on the board, um, you'll be able to discount uh, the number of cards that you'll have to spend um, by observing these passive. Th think of this as these are permanent orange cards that this character has that they don't have to spend uh, in order to uh, perform actions. Same thing with this guy. He's got two blue on the right. So if I ever were, let's say, to perform an action that costs three blue, I can discount that by two blue, and then I can only spend one blue skill card in order to perform the action that I'm trying to complete. So long story short, there's a bunch of these crew members. The captain is dead, of course, so we're left with some crew members. And we're going to be trying to engage our jump core. Uh, you start it from any dif difficulty that you want, down from insane, all the way up to coward. We put it on novice, which is one step above normal, because this is our first time playing. Uh, and if we manage to get it up to engage, we win. To do that, we have to, every time we want to move this bar up, we have to discard five orange cards from our hand and spend two of our actions to do it. So that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to get out of here. We're trying to jump away in order to win the game. You can lose a number of different ways. Um, you can lose if this shield bar over here goes from 100% to zero, then you hit one more time, it's game over. If you try to put aliens onto the board and you don't have enough aliens to do that, then you lose. If the alert deck is cycled through completely from yellow to orange to red and they're all gone, then you lose as well. So a number of different ways to lose, one way to win. So, to set up the game, each player will get a character, but in this case, in a two-player game, uh, we each have two. Uh, they also get a hand of five of these skill cards, which are colored different colors. Um, and these are used to perform actions on the board. So you've got uh, orange engine engineering, red tactical, green science, and blue command. And you'll be spending these as a one-time use to perform actions on the board, and of course you want to take into consideration any discounts that you might have. But you start with five of these cards. I thought it was four. Let me finish. I'm so confused. <laughs> you start with five, you choose one to put into the cargo hold at the beginning of the game. Interesting. We went over that in our Sorry. intro. Sorry. <laughs> you said it twice and I was like, wait a second. No, we start with five cards, I see. we choose one, we put one into the cargo hold. I've already done that for us, so we don't have to do that. So the cargo hold will consist of the cards that we chose to put there. On top of that, there are tools. Uh, tools can be used twice. They're the gray cards that you see on the right there. Um, they can be used twice. There's an A side and B side. When you use the A side, you flip it over to the B side. When you use the B side, you discard it completely, and that's it. So um, each player, again, starts the character. Uh, five skill cards minus one, because you're going to put one there. Um, and the back of these characters are also a uh, guide as to what actions you can take on your turn. I'll get to that in a minute. You also stock up five torpedoes over here. Um, you're going to put your characters into their respective colored rooms. So my chief engineer is orange, so this would go into the orange engineering room and so on. 
these upgrades will go here. Um, throughout the game, you can spend the required uh, cards and action points on the inactive side to put them face up onto this upgrade spot here. And this will give us passive abilities that we can use throughout the game. But we don't start with any right now. And they, dif they cost different things, so we'll be looking at that further. There's this orange blocker piece that is just put off to the side for right now. There is a card in the orange deck. I had to look this up as well because the rule book did not say it. But there's a card in the orange deck that will block off access to engineering. Uh, so that's what this orange blocker here is for. The yellow blocker again goes on, the yellow marker here goes on any difficulty space that we want to start off on. Uh, the cargo pod, I already covered that. Um, the internal sensors, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to shuffle this deck of skill cards and you're going to deal three face up to where the internal sensors are right here. Um, and of course they each, all of these systems also have like a uh, reverse side too. Like they, there's a uh, an inherent space, but there's also these cards. You can, they start off on the active, the online side. Um, they can become disabled and be put offline. Um, if they become destroyed, um, you get rid of the card completely, and in order to repair the system, you have to spend whatever is on the board itself. So to fix a disabled system that's just simply offline, you would spend one action point and one red card, or one red symbol if you have it on your character card. If it's destroyed, you have to, well, that's, I can't see from here, but I think it's two action points, two red cards, and four green cards to completely repair a system. So it's much easier to repair a disabled system than it is to just build it again from scratch. Um, the cards in the alert deck over here will tell us what to do and when to destroy things. Um, so there's these battle plans, they're blue cards. They are one use abilities. Um, we draw them via this action here. Um, and they are one use abilities that give us special advantages. Um, also this alert deck, there's yellow, orange, and red cards. You're going to shuffle each deck separately. Red goes on bottom, orange goes in the middle, red goes on top, and they get worse as the color goes from yellow to orange to red. When you get to red, the game's pretty much over at that point. Um, I don't even know if we're going to even get that far. We'll see. Um, and then two are placed face up here. Now, there is some confusion. Again, this is something I had to look up because the robot stinks. Um, so this is something I had to look up online as well as far as how these cards behave uh, during the game because there's this external scanners uh, system. When that goes offline, that will discard these two cards here and you're going to be drawing alerts face up uh, uh, just from the deck blindly. You won't know what's coming at the end of every single turn. Um, but when you've got them online, you're going to draw the top one at the end of your turn because you can see what's coming. And then you're going to slide the one that's here up and then draw a new one to replace it. So it's sort of like a little conveyor belt. Uh, the one on top is the one that's resolved first, and then they move up as they are resolved. Um, but again, there was some confusion as to how that all worked, and I had to look that up. So I think I covered kind of everything. Um, as far as what you can do on your turn, uh, each of these characters' cards will tell you how many action points you get on your turn. Uh, the little gray symbols on the left. Uh, essentially, there's four action points every turn that you, each character can get. Hand limit is here, that includes tools, so you can have a combination of skill cards and tools um, equal to or less than the value printed here. If you ever go over that, you have to immediately discard. It's not like it, you can have seven or eight and at the end of your turn you discard down. No, you have to immediately discard if you go over your character or your hand limit. But these are the actions that you can take on your turn. Uh, you can move up to two spaces. Um, this little heal symbol means that if you're injured, you can still do this action. Uh, this one is kill a hostile alien at your location. You can do that if you're injured or if there's a hostile at, at that location. You can carry another player one space. You can give a skill or tool to another player at your location. Or you can take a skill or tool from another player at your location. Now, those are the basic inherent actions that you can do, assuming all of these systems are kind of like offline. There are a number of different ways you can break the rules with these various things. For example, this is the teleporter. It is currently online and we can use it. For an action, um, we can teleport any player to any location, may be used from any location. Now normally you'd have to be in a room to use the spaces that you want to, or to perform the action that you're trying to perform. 
So I'd have to go to the science lab with a character to upgrade or to research an anomaly. Anomalies are bad things that come out of the alert deck that you have to try and solve. But in order to do these things, I have to move a character here. This teleporter has a little radar symbol looking thing on it. This means that you can use it from any location. So as, a, as an action, in addition to what I can do on my action point reference guide, assuming this is online, I can just teleport a player to any room that I want. But assuming this is offline, I will no longer be able to use it until I fix it or someone fixes it. And I'll be stuck with moving my character two spaces as my guide card tells me to do. Another thing, um, the comm system. That's another thing. Uh, this is a, another instance where it can be used anywhere on the station. Give a skill to or take a skill from another player. Maybe used from any location. It's listed here on the guide card that you have to be in the same location as the other player to swap cards. But so as long as this is online, you can do it from any location. So think of your guide card as these are the basic actions you can perform assuming these special things are not in play. But there are special things that are in play right now that sort of break the rules a little bit as far as what we can do on our turns. On our turns, we're going to perform our four actions, and then we're going to draw from the alert deck, and that's it. Um, to override an alert, uh, these alerts will say various things. Um, let's move. Right, here's a quick look at the box insert before I go any further. Here's, there's the aliens are in there, got some extra torpedoes. Um, I think I just killed an alien. <laughs> yep. That'll count for... Yeah, that's, that's already a feather in our cat. Yeah, this is, this is the aliens here, and we're going to be putting them on the board. Um, there are other rule cards, too. Um, whenever you choose a color, you get to choose, you know, one of the three different crew members of that color. As you can see, they each have different abilities. Uh, I, I just tried to pick ones that would complement and be different colors so that, you know, we had a wide variety of skills available to us. That's another reason why you might want to play with four characters in a two-player game. That way you've got a wider variety of skills, because uh, this guy has an engineering uh, specialty. Admiral has blue. The weapon specialist has orange and red. Your red guy has two red and so on. Yeah, you can take that. Yeah, that's what that <laughs> looks like. So, yeah, um, anyway, the alert deck, whenever you, resolve an, or whenever you resolve an alert, some of them have an override on the very bottom. If you play three blue cards or a combination of symbols from your, car, your character card and blue cards, you can override it meaning that you don't have to observe it. You're, you're getting rid of it. Um, if you can, the other way around this is to fire a torpedo. Torpedoes are used to blow up enemy ships that pop up from the alert deck. It's also used to stave off an alert. Um, again, I had to look this up online. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be saying that a lot. Um, you, the torpedoes, whenever you use them to negate an alert, the alerts stay there. Whenever you override, you discard the override, or you discard the card completely and draw new ones to take their place. At least that's what I think, anyway. Uh, I should probably mention that, again, this is our first time playing, and the rules, rulebook is less than helpful in certain areas, so um, we may make a rules goof or two along the way. But hopefully this gives you a small taste as to what you're in for, should you decide to invest in this. So I think that's everything. I did not go over all of the rooms and what they do. We'll get to them whenever we start our game. So in turn order, the way it works is you're going to look in the upper left-hand corner of these cards, and there's numbers. So you're going to go one, then two, then red is three, and then yellow is four. So for the first turn of the game, actually to set up, uh, this is one thing I did not do because I figured you guys want to see this. Um, to set up the game, in addition to doing all of this, we have to draw five alerts from the yellow deck and resolve them, and there's no way to override them. So basically, we're starting off damaged. Ooh. So now we have to draw from the alert deck five times. That's a must? That's a must thing, yes. Wow. So that's why the captain's dead. Even Our, on novice. <laughs> even on novice, yep. So we're going to draw one alert. Okay. And this says, add two hostile aliens to the armory. And then it says, all players in the armory are injured. So, already we're starting off with an, oh, an injured. No. So I've got to take two out of the box. That's rough. Let's go ahead and move this out of the way. My poor guy. It's all right. Your characters can't be killed as far as I know. Next time we should try insane mode. No. <laughs> Absolutely not. I'm curious. No, wrong. <laughs> um, so there's two there. And then it says, all players in the armory are injured. Yep. So that's that. 
Uh, this is discarded alerts, so that would go there. Okay. Next one, number two, comm overload. Comm system is offline. All players in the bridge are injured. Oh, so both of my guys are injured. Apparently. <laughs> Um, so the comm system is now offline. We can no longer trade cards freely with each other. Okay. Just anywhere we want. We actually have to be at that location and use our inherent skill as opposed to being anywhere. Yeah. All right. Uh, <laughs> next one is... Uh, alien fighter ship. Whenever shields take damage, increase the damage by 10% to destroy fire torpedo tube. So this is going to go here. Okay. Next alert. These are nasty. Add three hostile aliens to engineering. Uh, it doesn't say anything about being injured, though. It just says intruders. Okay. So we're going to Good. add... <laughs> yeah, really. So there's one, two... Yeah, we're already in trouble. And if we can... And that's one of the lose conditions. If we cannot add aliens... Because uh, there's too many here, we lose automatically. Uh, if we can add aliens to multiple places... How is it, how would it be like too many aliens? That, if we don't have any more aliens in the box. Oh, 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 okay, never mind. Yeah, so if we run out of aliens to place because we don't have enough in the box, we lose. Jeez. Last one, uh, reduce the shields by 10%. Computer is offline, discard the skill deck. Wow. Wow, okay. So, so computers is offline. Yeah. Flip that. Yep, okay, so... Just discard the skill deck? Yeah, so the skill deck goes over there. All of it? All of it. Wow. Just put it, yeah, put it over there. Nasty. We cannot... Now, whenever we take from here, normally we would replenish. Yeah, but we can't. But we can't, not until we fix that. How do you fix that? You go to that location, and you see the little three action points there? Oh, wow. For three, three action, action points, we have to we have to go to the CPU core. There's, a little, right. there's a little line... Um, each of these rooms has different lines t drawing to each of these areas. So there's a line going up there. So one of us has to go to the CPU core, spend three action points, and repair it in order to get that deck back. Easy. In the meantime, we can still draw from this, uh, from Our here, hold. via, yeah, there's, this, there's oh, these this. three cards here. The cargo hold lets us go there and either take one or swap. So we can still take from there temporarily if we need to. Um, okay, reduce the shields by 10%. Now, it says here that whenever the shields take damage, increase the damage by 10%. So, I'm wondering if this computer offline card reduced the shields by 10%. I mean, that would kick in with this. So, this should go down to 80%. Wow, nice. Yeah. So, already we've got a lot of nasty things happening. So, there's our four alerts. Four alerts there, one is a face up there. I thought it was five. Was it four? I, I said five. Four here, one face up here. I thought it was seven. It's not seven. Aww. You can you can leave right now. You and your you and your crazy I wanna die now. Why even bother playing if you just wanna die? If you wanna die, just no. flip the table now and be done with it. No. Yeah, okay. Alright, so now I get four action points. Um I'm gonna start with the Admiral. Now I'm gonna look at the face up um thing. Add two hostiles. Aliens to the war room. All players in the war room are injured. Um, I'm in the war room now, so I want to move my character. Uh, the teleporter is online, so I can move around. I can... Um, what am I going to do? I may want to get characters... Where's the healing bay? The he infirmary is here. Okay. Um, so, with the teleporter, it says that you can use it when you're injured. Mm -hmm. So, you should be able to move here and then use an action point to heal someone if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just trying to think out loud as to what I should do and what's coming up. I can kill some of these aliens to... Um, like, I can, I can move here. I can... Um, I can spend two action points to... So I can, for one action point, I can teleport here. Or I can just move two spaces, one, two. Mm -hmm. Now I can use two more action points to kill two aliens. Or, um, and then I'd have one action point left. Um, I could, um, or do I want to maybe repair the, the computer so we can draw more skill cards? 
I'm thinking the aliens, we need to get we need to we need to get the computers fixed so that we can draw more orange cards. To win the game, we need orange cards so that we can move this up, bottom line. But we also need to keep the ship. Um, also torpedoes actually. Um, let's see if I have the cards to shoot a torpedo to get rid of that stupid ship. So to use the torpedo tube, I have to spend two actions. I don't have enough action points to do it. I, I'd have to kill one alien and then use my other two action points, plus a blue and a yellow. Which are a blue and a red rather. So here's a look at the torpedo tube card. So in order for me to fire the torpedoes, I need to spend two actions, a blue, spend a blue and a red, and I can do this. So how many action points do you have? Though? I have four. I haven't done anything yet. Oh. I'm thinking out loud. So what I may do is I may move here for one action point, two spaces, or I can use the teleporter either way. Uh, again, a teleporter can be used from anywhere, so as long you know as it's working. So I move there for one action point. Um, I'm going to spend one action to kill an alien, I guess. So I'm going to I'm going to spend one of my actions to kill a hostile alien. He goes back in the box, and then I've got two more left. Um, I'm going to use the torpedo tube um, action, two action points, um, plus a blue and a red. The blue I've got a blue symbol on my character card. So all I have to do is spend a red card in order to complete that action. So I'm going to discard a red from my hand, and I'm going to put that... There's a discard pile for this, so can you put that over there next to the deck? Yeah, just next to the deck, that's fine. Um, and then I'll be able to use a torpedo to uh, blow up this alien fighter ship. So that is now gone. If this is here, should it be in the bottom? Or yeah, just put it on the bottom. That's fine. It, that's all a discard pile right there. Yeah. Um, what, mm -hmm. what does this symbol mean? Is that that alien? means alien intruders. You can, use that, you can use the teleporter when there's an alien intruder there. Oh, that's so what that says. Anytime oh. you see like a health symbol or a alien symbol, that means you can perform that action if, if those conditions exist. So, so you can move up the two spaces if you're injured. You can kill a hostile alien at your location if you're injured. Um, okay. Teleporter, there's, there's both. So you can teleport. So I, I moved here for one action. I killed an alien for another action. and Used my remaining two to shoot a torpedo to kill this ship. To keep our shields from falling any lower than 80%. So now I have to um, use the... I have to resolve the top alert. And the question is, do we want to override it? Uh, this says, add two hostiles, aliens, to the war room. All players in the war room are injured. That's not too bad. I mean, we can add aliens. Let's see how many we have left in the box. I mean, I don't want this game to be over, like, within two mm -hmm. seconds. So, um, we've got one, two, three. That's a character. Four. I'm just going to put them down here. It's an alien with a character costume. That's okay. Cool. Yeah, that's exactly right. <laughs> Five. I hate to override that alert um, and waste a blue card when we may need it later. Um, let's see. That's all there is. So there's um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven left. There's seven of these aliens left. Um, so we can. I, I can spend a blue card from my hand use the remaining two symbols on my character card to override this. Overriding it will discard it without the, you know, without the effects. Or we can just let the two aliens beam to the war room and be done with it. Mm -hmm. I'm undecided. So this isn't as bad as I thought. What's the next couple? Torpedo overload. Torpedoes are offline. Ooh, nasty. All players in the armory are injured. That's the next one coming up. Ooh, so that means you'll be injured. Yeah, I would be injured. Okay. Um, well, I can kill that one in the room. Yeah, you could kill him. Uh, well, that still wouldn't stop. You could teleport me. It says teleport any player. So for one of your actions, you could technically teleport me out. But at the same, well, wouldn't I have to be in the teleporting room? To no, teleporters can be used anywhere. Yeah, to use this little radar symbol means you can use that system anywhere you want. Okay. Um, so, you know what? I'm going to go ahead. I think we're getting murdered. 
I'm going to go ahead and use a command card to uh, just discard it. And then this will stop this, stop these aliens from beaming into the war room. Okay. And then this gets slid up, and then this one gets put like that. Okay. So now it is um, Orange's turn. Orange has three aliens there. Um, do I spend three actions to kill them and then do something else? Um, let's take a look at his cards and see what he's got. Uh, he's got these. I need... He's got two orange symbols. So if I can get two more orange symbols, or yeah, two more orange cards, I can uh, start moving that up. So I might just stay there. For my fourth action, I can actually beam... I'm thinking. I'm trying to think. You're already injured, mm -hmm. so I'm, I may just move. I may use my teleport. It's that's right. It's not your turn. It's my turn. So what I'm going to do is I might use my three action points to murder these three aliens. Use my fourth action point to move my guy out of there somewhere else, so that when this alert resolves, um, then he won't become injured. You're already injured, so I wouldn't move you out of there. So, hmm. Um, what's when repairing the jump core? You may do so for one less action. Okay. Um. All right. Um, I'm going to go ahead and knock out one, two, three. So that's three dead. And for my fourth action, I'm going to teleport the Admiral. Um, I'm, I might teleport him to the CPU core. So we can start working on that on his future turns to try and repair it so we can get more skills. Um, some alerts coming up. The bridge is going to see some hostiles here pretty soon. Uh, torpedo tube is offline. That's the next one. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go here, actually. Because um, then I could go back here if I need to later to, it says here torpedo tube is offline, that's, that's one that's coming up. Um, okay. I'm not sure. <laughs> it's, I mean, this is our first game, so we're not exactly sure how this is all going to play out. Mm -hmm. I think this is good. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and resolve the top alert. And it says torpedo tube is offline. All players in the armory are injured. Well, you're already injured, so that's why... So I'm dead. You're not dead. <laughs> no. You're just, you're, you just, instead of one broken arm, you have two broken arms. Oh, okay. uh, torpedo tube is offline, so we have to flip this over to the reverse side. So we can no longer fire torpedoes. Okay. Um, so, and then all players in the armory are injured, but you're already injured, so nothing to worry about there. It's a shame that they're attacked it and kill themselves, but, you know. Okay. Um, so that wasn't too bad. This slides up. The next one says, add three aliens to the bridge. Okay. So that's, there's going to be three aliens coming here at some point. Okay. Now, your number three goes, which is this guy. So you can, you have a limited amount of actions. You can teleport, uh, you can attack, you can move. Yeah, which, I, wish, I wish I could repair that, but I can't, right? Um, when you're injured. Not when I'm injured. Um, well... It doesn't have the health thing on it. Yeah, it doesn't have the health thing. So, so can you, can't, you can't repair it right now. You can teleport to the infirmary and then use an action point to heal yourself. That would be two actions. Then you have two more actions to spend. You can go back to the bridge and then repair it. Um, mm -hmm. And then suffer the fact that there... And that might be good because there's going to be three aliens going on to the bridge here. As soon at the end of your turn, there's going to be three aliens. It doesn't say that you're injured, though. Yeah. So you could be there for your next turn to knock them out. Yeah. You know what I mean? I could do that. Okay. So I can use the teleporter? You can use the teleporter. There's a little health symbol there. So you can use the teleporter to go to the infirmary. Okay. For an action. Uh, here it is. An action. You can heal one player in the infirmary. So that's two actions. That's two actions. You could beam back to the bridge for your third action. Yeah. And, and then, then if you spend two reds and an action point, yeah, your card has two red symbols on it. So I can just repair it. You can just repair it for one action point. Yeah, I right. can do that. Okay. Good job. What does that say? What does what say? That card. Give a skill to or take a skill from another player. Maybe used from any location. Oh. 
So again, our inherent skill is we can pass skills so as long as we're in the same space. This breaks the rules and allows us to transfer cards of each other without being in the same spot. Interesting. Um, that costs an action point to do it. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to resolve the bridge intruders card up there. Mm -hmm. And add three hostiles to the bridge. One, two, three. How does the difficulty differ when you move this up and down? Um, the further down it is, the, the longer it takes to fix the warp core. Oh, I see, I see. And the worse the cards get over time. Oh, so, more than likely, if you start off in insane, you might be able to get up to veteran, then you'll see orange and red cards, and you're like, oh, nope, you're dead. I see. Okay, interesting. Um, so that slides up by one. The next alert is, add three hostile aliens to the computer core. Well, I'm already there, so I can probably kill a few All right. whenever they do pop up. For the weapons officer, I'm yep. going to kill one. Uh, okay. You're going to murder, yeah, because you can still attack when you're mm -hmm. injured. So you're going, that's one action. Mm -hmm. You could teleport here. Um, that's what I wanted to do. Okay. And heal myself. That's so two, two, three, and now you can do something else. Um, coming up is uh, the core intruders and teleporter is offline. All players in engineering are injured. Ooh, nasty. Um, Which one was that one? That's coming up in yeah. two turns from now. For if if someone is in the... Oh, Luckily, my admiral... Well, it'll be my admiral's turn when that pops up. If I can get a blue skill card um, going, then I can override that. If I can get a blue skill card, but I don't have one. Um, like, you could, now that the comms are repaired, you can spend an action to pass one to me, yeah. so that when that comes up, because when that teleporter goes offline, we're in deep trouble. So that comm means that I can just trade you skill cards? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can pass me skill cards to, you know, to any other character. Okay, so I can use an action to do that, right? Well... Give you a blue card? How many actions do you have left? You've got one. three left. Okay. I have one. Well, let's see. How bad is it to repair this? Two orange... Actually, you know what? With the teleporter offline... Actually... We don't have to worry about that. Assuming my admiral cannot fix the transporter. Oh, wait. My engineering officer would be injured. Yeah. Otherwise, I'd be able to repair it. Because I could. Re my engineer would be right there. Like, I could beam here, heal, beam back, fix. That would be my entire turn, though. You know what I mean? That would stink. Mm -hmm. um, so, should I just move to the science lab? To do what? To get closer to the engineering? Remember, the teleporter is online, so you can do anything you want. You can beam anywhere you want. Oh, the hallway then. I mean, if you have a blue card that you want to give me, we can stop the trans the transporter from being destroyed. We can override that alert. Yeah. It's up to you. Um, um, wait, what was this one? Add three to the computer core. Yeah, there's going to be three aliens here at the end of your turn. Mm -hmm. My admiral will be there, but I need to spend three actions just to repair it. Yeah. Um, but here's the thing. When there are aliens there, I don't think I can actually interact and do that. Like, you have to, you have to get through the aliens first before you can... Really? Well, yeah, because look, there's no alien symbol on that offline card. Oh. So I have to kill those three aliens first before I can repair that CPU core. Oh, so my Admiral's going to have to stay there and kill those three aliens. So torpedoes kill aliens as well, right? Only alien ships. Only alien torpedoes ships. Torpedoes also negate... They stave off those threats. Oh, up there. All, like all of these? Yeah. Hmm. Um, so you've got one more action point, right? Yeah. What's your ability? Once per turn you may fire the torpedo tube for one less action. Mm. Or you may manufacture a torpedo for one less action. Okay, but you, you're on your... I mean, you can't do that. You have to be there to do it. Yeah, I can repair it if I was... You can go to the armor... Like, you can beam to the armory in preparation for your next turn. Yeah. Um, to fix the torpedo Maybe tube. the transporter is, like, really... The teleporter is really important. So maybe I'll just beam myself to the hallway and then in the next turn... Wait, no. Sorry. I was mm -hmm. worried about giving you the skill card. That's what I meant. Oh, you card. mean the blue one to override? If you want to. Yeah. Yeah, alright, so you're gonna give me do the... Do we trade or do we give? We give. Okay, that's fine. Um, I mean, it said, yeah, give a skill or take a skill from. Okay. So I'm gonna give that to my Admiral. And now I've got enough to negate that teleporter damage that's coming up. Yep. 
Okay, so now we're going to resolve this. It says add three aliens to the CPU core, which is here. Now these are obstacles. I have to negate these or kill them um, before I can repair the computer core, which kind of stinks. Mm -hmm. So now it's the, admir or the Admiral's turn, right? Because you got through your two yep. characters. Okay, so for three action points, I might have to just kill them and then do something else because we need that. The other option is I can, I can kill three and then take one from the internal sensors. But what would I take? Science, tactical, engineering. Um, hey, here's the question. Mm -hmm. You have to get past aliens to repair, but can, do you have to get past aliens to use a working ability? Uh, that's a good point. I don't know. Uh, no, no. No. Uh, no, 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 you do have to. Because again, there's no alien symbol oh, on these cards. So okay. when just, you see when you see an alien symbol, that means you can do it when there's aliens there. Aliens are basically obstacles that you have to overcome in order to perform your regular stuff. Okay. But on your card, again, there's this whole kill a hostile alien at your location. You can do that. Uh, this lets you beam, even though there's an alien host or an alien symbol there. So there's a limited number of actions you can do when you're when you've got. So I have to kill these three first. And then probably take one of those cards in the internal sensors uh, for something else. Mm -hmm. What I'm not sure. Um, what would what would the admiral take if anything? Actually, you know what? What can I do? Um, battle plan. What do I need for that? To you, spend two action. No, can't do that. All right. I, I hate the fact that there's three aliens though. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I'd be good. Um, well, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to spend, because someone's going to have to come here and repair that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to spend three actions to get rid of three aliens. That's, I got one more action left. Oh, I forgot to move this up. The next one is alien fighter ship. Okay, there's another one. <laughs> Great. So I'm going to have to. At some point, the torpedo tube will need to be repaired. Yeah. Um, and then I've got one more action point left for this guy. Um, I can take one of those internal sensors cards, but the question is, should I? Or should I maybe just move somewhere else? Um, what's coming up? Uh, teleporter is offline. All players in engineering are injured. Um, well, what is your I ability? Could, I could spend... My ability is I can draw battle plans from any location, um, but I need two actions to do it. Oh, battle sad. plans, I need, and I need two action points and one blue to draw one battle plan. Um, I can draw one from any location, but I only have one action point left, so I can't draw a battle plan. Um, I may use my last action to teleport my engineer. I mean, I can teleport him out of here? No, because then it's... Alright, so here's, here's the thing. I could save... I can do one of two things. I can... At the end of the Admiral's turn, use the blue card, along with my two blue symbols, to negate and override that teleporter overload coming up. Or, I can keep it, for my last action, move my engineer out. And then, when the teleporter goes offline, for one action, I can move my engineer back in, fix it, and then do two other actions. And then save this blue one for another one that might be coming up later. I don't know. I'm just trying to figure out the best... Um, well, I guess, okay, the question is, what would my engineer do um, during... The comm system says take a skill from another player. So, I mean, if I could pass, if I could start taking engineer cards, do you have any other orange cards? Uh, I do. How many orange cards do you have? I have one for each. Person. Okay. Um, I was planning on giving them to you. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, I can have my engineer take them via the comm system. Yep. So, um, I may just, and, and my engineer says, uh, when repairing the jump core, you may do so for one less action. But we can't use it because there's aliens on it, right? No, it's, no, it's the system is online, that's all that matters. Oh. And remember, this can be used from anywhere. Yeah, but, oh, okay. I thought it had to, to have an alien symbol in order to no, that's, that's, surpass it. No, that means that, oh, good question, uh, good point. No, because it's. Get a skill to or take from another... That's a good question. I thought that simply meant to use it at that location. But if the comm system... I mean, we're using the comm system... I'm thinking of it as... 
I'm telling the computer to do it. I'm not, I'm not trying to physically press a panel that they're standing in front of. I'm telling the computer to do it. But then wouldn't, then why is there an alien symbol on this one? I don't know. <laughs> I, again, the, the rules are iffy. I'm house rolling it. If we're wrong, we're wrong. I'm house rolling it. I'm going to do it. Really? <laughs> yeah, really. It, that doesn't make sense, though. It do, I don't know. It so what do you want to do then? I'm just saying it doesn't make sense because if that one works with aliens, then when aliens are here, why is there even this symbol? All right, so then, part? so we're not, we can't use the comm system right now, then. Yeah. All right. That's why I was. That's why for my tactical, I was thinking for my tactical officer, I'm just gonna blow those aliens out of the water. All right. All right. Well, then I won't do that. All right. So. <laughs> I'm sorry. This game. Uh, all right. So, what would my engineer do? Um, again, I, I can do one of two things. I can negate the transporter thing completely mm -hmm. with my blue skill code. Um, and then I have four actions from here to do whatever I want for the next turn. But for actions, um, I don't have enough orange cards to m do anything. I could maybe teleport somewhere else and I could maybe teleport here and repair what? Can the I computers. See, can I see the comms real quick? The comms simply say, say, give a skill to or take a skill from another player, maybe used from any location. You can still take from me. No, but you said I can't use the comm system if there's oh, yeah, aliens that's right, there. That's right, that's right. So that's out. <laughs> I um, really forgot. <laughs> yeah. So if I negate the action with my blue, teleport here, spend three actions to repair the computers, I could do that. That might be the way to go. All right, because we need to repair that system, mm -hmm. I think. Um, the things coming up, all players, yeah, I have to move anyway, because all players in engineering are injured. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to spend, uh, well, I'd spend the last yeah. here <laughs> first. So it's the Admiral's turn. I spent three actions killing the three aliens. I will take an engineering card. Actually, no. Do I want, which one do I want? If any. There's command, engineering, and science. Um... Because I want the engineer to technically grab that while he's there, rather than having to pass it with another action. Because um, I'm going to be there anyway next turn repairing that, so I might as well take it on the following turn, if at all possible. Yeah. All right. Um, I think I will negate. So for my last action, I'm just going to take a card. Um, I think I'll take a tactical, because... This guy has no tact. I don't have any tactical cards in my hand. Normally, we would draw a replacement from this deck, but because the system is offline, we don't do that. So now I've got this, and that was my fourth action. Now, uh, teleporter overload. So I'm going to spend three blue to override this. Um, so I'm going to uh, do three blue. I've got two blue here, plus the one blue from my hand will be, so you can discard that one, that's the command card, and that will override that so that my engineer does not take any sort of damage. Alright, so this moves up, this goes here, core overload, computer is offline, to skill the skill deck, discard the skill, oh man, Again? this means that, oh wow, it's gonna, it's gonna be, so if I repair that this time, well, if I repair it next this turn, then on a future turn, it's going to be disabled anyway, and I'll. So you might as well wait. I might as well wait. So I need to figure out something else to do with Mike. Beaming this guy out of there is going to be one of my actions. Or we can overload it eventually. What do you mean overload it? Overload that card. Save up. Override, you mean? Override. Um. Well, the problem is, is getting getting that in the first place. Yeah. Um. Okay. So my engineer's turn. Uh, the fighter is coming up next. That's the alien fighter. That's the top alert. So this is what I've got. Um, so I need to be out of here. Oh, no, I'm good there. Okay, computer. So what do I do while I'm here? So what was the whole thing about the teleporter being offline? The teleporter's on. No, we overrode it. Oh, did we? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, I mean, I could go to the cargo hold and start getting some tools. What do the tools say? Or I can start getting some of those cards there. Okay, so... There's a pistol. As a free action, kill one hostile alien at the current location, then flip pistol to side V. 
Um, use the teleporter as a free action and flip remote to side B. Spend two less tactical when reinstalling or repairing, then flip scanner to side B. Rifle. Uh, for one action, kill all hostile aliens at the current location. That would have been nice to have. Uh, spend two less engineering when making a repair. Hmm. When making a repair, I can use the torch to repair the jump drive faster. So I think what I'm going to do is, for my first action, beam to the cargo hold, and I'm going to take the torch um, to use. So I'm using the cargo pod to uh, take this. And I, I'm still under six cards, so I'm good. And for my third action, I need to get this guy out of there. Because this this will be destroyed or uh, in or disabled rather at the end of one of your turns. So I need to get him out of here at some point. The question is, do I stay where I'm at with my engineer? What do I do with them? Um. Hmm. With the war room, so he can. He can draw battle plans from any location, so he doesn't need to be in the war room to take it. Um, he can go to the science lab. What kind of things does he have in his hand? He's got a green, red, and orange. Uh, I can go to the armory and try and repair the torpedo tube um, with a card. That would stink because you've got... The weapons officer can do that for free or I have to spend a card to do it. Mm. So I did one... I said one teleport, two to, to take a card, three... Um, I hate to waste, but I, I can go to the, I can beam to the bridge and kill one. That way you have more action points to spend to do whatever it is that you want to do. You know what I mean? Hmm. How much is it to repair? Oh. Or I can take, I can take some, some cards from the cargo pod and then give them to you, or you can take them from me. Uh, whenever you need it. Like, I've, I've got room for one more thing in my hand. Mm -hmm. So is there a particular color that you... Orange. Was there, was, well... I wanted to give you the orange. Well, I mean, no, no. I mean, is there something that you need, personally, um, to take from me? I would love to work on the research station. Down here? Yeah. To uh, um, use some science. <laughs> science. Okay, so I can take... Um, I've got one, two, three, four. I've got. I can take another one for a third action, and then you can. I can give it to you at the comm station as my fourth action. Okay. Um. I would say, um, maybe. Or I. I still have to beam this guy out, so I'm gonna do that for my third action. I want to beam him to the cargo hold, I guess, mm -hmm. to get him out of there. And then for my fourth action, because this will he, he will be injured at the end of your player's turn, yeah. so I need to get him out of there. For my fourth action, I can pick up a card, and then you can take it from me if you want. What was that one? What? The top left? What is that? That means that when it's online, you can see the alerts that are coming. When it's I offline, see. you have okay. to discard them, and you can only draw from the top of okay. the deck. Okay. Um, so is there a... a you want me to draw one of these so that you can take them on a future turn, like the command, for example. Do you want to? Want me to draw the command yeah, how one? Ma how many? How many uh, cards would you have? I six. Six. Then you wouldn't be able to pass me any. Yeah. Well, here's the thing, though. I've got my torch now. What's so that the torch, when I use it, spend two less engineering when making a repair. So I've already got two. This negates two, and I just need to spend one orange card, which I have, for oh, five. Wow. And then one action point because okay. it's my special. So I don't need another orange card right now. Okay, that's fine. So I can still draw another card for you to take from me later if you need it. If you want. Is there a particular color that you're going to need? Um, probably. To repair this, do you have an um, orange? Yeah, his thing. His, is okay, orange, his ability. Okay. So I can do it for free. Um, um I would. S mm. What What would your tactical officer need? Or we, I want her to alternate between the war room. Okay. So a blue card, mostly, but I already have a blue card. Um, this guy, I want him to go from the armory and science lab because he's closer, maybe. I okay. Don't know. All right. 
Um, well, I guess I'll take a... Um, so either green or blue, I guess. I would take the blue just so I can... Well, here's the thing, my Admiral is here. He could take the blue while he was there. I'd hate to have my engineer take it only to pass it to my yeah. Admiral who was right there anyway. Yeah. Um, maybe I'll take a... Um, see, the science is kind of useless right now, isn't it? Really? Why? Well... I mean... If we can get any advantage, because it's just going to get harder, so... If we well, can... let's take a look at our upgrades and see... Are we allowed we... to do that? Yeah, we can take a look. Okay. Um, there's the auto surgeon. Once researched, auto surger surgeon replaced the trauma station. Players in the infirmary may heal as a free action. If there's the... So this becomes here, mm -hmm. and there, it doesn't cost an action to heal, basically. Okay. Um, reveal one additional card for the external scanners and internal sensors, um, which is here and there. Uh, so more cards. All players get one additional action per turn, Ooh. but that's seven action points. Seven, seven cards. Which we can't do without a sign. We, we would need a green character. We don't have a green character. Oh, wow. Uh, shield modulator. Reduce any new damage to the shields by 10%. Uh, that's four actions. So, hmm. That might be helpful to have. Um, to have the shield modulator up. How many green cards does your red character have? My red character has one green card, but in here she, it says after repairing shields, I may draw two random skills from the skill deck. Which there are none right now because no, yeah. we need to get that repaired. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, I could draw a green from the cargo hold if you want. And what then is you... that sentry? What? This? Yeah. Well, uh, anyone that's here, uh, spend an action in a red symbol. Mm -hmm. Kill one hostile alien any in any location. Oh, nice. Wow. That's a good one. So your yellow guy could stay there and kill aliens and repair the torpedoes. That is a... Wow. He should really just stay apart. Well, he's injured. He had to go there. Yeah. Um, so where were we? <laughs> we were wondering whether or not to... What I should do with my fourth action as my engineer. Yeah. This was flipped over, wasn't it? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> so for my fourth action, I mean, I could take another tool... And then have that. Yeah, actually, I think that would be good too. The question is, what would I use it for? Um, scanner. Spend two less tactical in reinstalling or repairing. I'm not using tactical though. Um, kill one hostile alien at the current location. I could take the pistol, and if one al if aliens show up in engineering again, I can use it to mm -hmm. kill stuff. Or I can take the remote and use it as a free teleport anywhere I want. Yeah. As the engineer, though, I need to stay in engineering. I need to get... I think basically what we need to do is we need to get characters to the core, repair it, and then feed engineering cards to my engineer so yeah. that he can continue repairing the ship. What is that lower left? The three red action points? Manufacture one torpedo. I see, I see. Okay. All right, so maybe another tool... Um, I might keep... No. All right, let's just... <laughs> I know, I know this is taking a while, but I'm trying to get to the... Yeah, alright. Let's put that... Alright, so you know what? For my fourth action, maybe I should just go back to engineering. Or, how many cards do you have right now? Four. I've got five. Maybe I'll, I'll go back to engineering then, maybe. Well... So that I can be prepared to repair that. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Alright. I'm just going to go back to engineering for my fourth action. That way... Come my next turn, I can repair this, move it up one. Okay. Okay. Now it's my turn. Now we have to resolve this. Oh, yeah. That goes here. Whenever the shields take damage, increase damage by 10%. Okay. And then this goes up. Core overload is next. Com computer core is offline. Whenever that comes, at the end of your turn, that'll happen. Okay. This will go offline. It's already offline. That is sensor overload. Internal sensors are offline. Um, which is... Is it those? No, that's, that's external. external scanners. Internal sensors is here. Ooh. Discard the face-up skills connected to the internal sensors. All players in the computer core are injured. Yeah. So this is nasty here. This is going to get wrecked. Yeah. Um, so we need to stay out of here. Um, but I go think. in there accordingly. Right. I, I think we need to take... We need get, those cards are going to be lost to us mm -hmm. unless we get them. Yeah. Okay, so for my tactical officer, okay, 
I'm gonna use three uh, points to wipe them out. my action stuffs to wipe them out. All right. And then I will. Um, For your fourth action, do you have any um, engineer cards that you can pass to my engineer? Or yes, no? actually, I do. You have five cards, right? I have five, okay, so I can so take yeah. a. Okay. Yeah. Basically, we need to win the game. Like doing this is a stave off thing. Mm -hmm. We need to win the game, yeah. and we can't do that unless we start getting engineer cards. So that was four, right? Yeah. So now core overload. Um, computer is offline, which it already is. Mm -hmm. uh, all players in the computer court are injured. Nothing. So that's that was a good one for us. Now, if it's offline again, does that mean no. it's destroyed? No. It cannot be. Cannot. It does not get. It. The alert has to say it gets destroyed. Okay. So sensor overload is coming up next. Okay. That will make this go offline and discard these two, okay. which kind of stinks. The next one is scanners offline. Uh, reduce the shields by 10%. External scan scanners are offline. E. Discard all fit. So this will become... Offline. <laughs> but my admiral is coming up, so if I can somehow get a blue card. I could pick up a blue card while I'm there and override it. Yeah, I wouldn't have a blue card to give you. I don't have one. That's fine. All right, so for the weapons officer, mm -hmm. I will I will go to the armory for one turn, for one action point. Okay. Okay. I will repair that for free for two. Okay, because you've got an orange symbol on your yes, card. Yes, for free. Uh, and you've got an action point. Okay, so and what's the ab ability again? Once per turn, you may fire the torpedo tube for one less action. Okay. So that was two, yeah. right? So you move there, you pair, that's two. Uh, to fire the torpedo, Ooh. you need two blue, well, one in your one. case. Or two action points, but one in your case. One blue, one red. You don't have a blue. I need the blue, that stinks. That's all right. Oh, man. Um, um, is there anything else? How about this? Oh, there's no aliens to kill. No. Um, okay, so. Do you have any cards? Do you have any... You don't have any blue cards to pass. No. Um, I can probably use the teleporter to go here. Okay. And then grab myself a blue card. Well, here's the thing. I need to get the blue card for my blue. Oh, you do. Because okay. otherwise our scanners go offline. Okay. And we won't be able to see what's coming. That's true. Okay. But um, you can still go there, get another different card color. Do you need red or uh, green or anything like that? Or a tool. Is there a tool that you would like? Like a rifle or something. That way you can murder all aliens. The rifle lets you murder everything in one spot, for example. These are pretty good, actually. Mm -hmm. And they're two times use. One, the A side, then you flip it to the B side, and then... Um... Stalling or repairing. Yeesh. Yeesh is right. Okay, I will... So for your third action, you're going to beam to the cargo hold? Yeah, I'll do that. Oops. And... Oh, wait a minute. That was, how many actions did it take to kill those three? Stop. Stop. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, you're that one. Okay, so you did one, two, and then yep. you got two actions. So three, so three, four? Yeah, so three. And then I will either take... Ugh. I'm either going to take... It's either going to be a green or red. Is there a one? I know. I, I might just... I might or a just, tool. Or a tool. I could take the tool. I was thinking about the tool. What is... Uh, I think I'm just going to take the green for now. The green card? Yeah. Okay. Whatever you want. Yeah. I'll do that. Um, and that was the cargo hold. Right? Yep. Okay. All right. So this is resolved. Okay. And internal sensors are offline. So, yeah, new one comes out. So that's offline. And those get discarded. Comms offline. Shields reduced by 10%. Comm system is offline. Which is this. So we can no longer pass cards Ooh. come later. Okay. That, that's going to stink. Sorry, I'll stay there and repair it. <laughs> okay. Um, so this is gone. Mm -hmm. So now it's your turn? Yeah. So is with this the ammo, to be face up it doesn't matter. Down? It doesn't matter. Really? No. Okay. <laughs> um, I mean, these aren't. If they were here to use, we'd put them here. This is just inactive upgrades. If it bothers you, I can flip them over. It does. I'm sorry. It says inactive. Okay. So. <laughs> okay. Um, next. 
Okay, so with the blue character, I, I need to draw one blue card from the cargo hold so mm -hmm. that I can bypass the next alert. Okay. That's one. Um, I need to... Um, I wouldn't mind drawing battle plans, but we also need to get to the core if we are to start getting more skills. Um, I've got one of each color here, so it's one. If I'm if I beam tier for two and then used a blue or used a red card to repair this, mm -hmm. that would bring that back online for three. Mm -hmm. And then for one more action. I would say for one more action, go to the war room. <laughs> Because I'm curious to see what those battle plans are. Well, I don't need to use, I don't need to go to the battle, uh, my special ability with my Admiral is I can draw battle plans without, um... Oh, I, without going there? Yeah. Okay. Well, the thing okay. is, do you want me to, rep if I come here, I can only repair that, the yeah. internal scanners. Yeah. Should I do that, or should I draw a battle plan and hope for the best? Well, didn't you have enough points to do both? No. Action points? Really? I took one for I took one action point to get a blue card. Okay. Beam here is two. Oh, to fix right. that is three. I need two action points to grab a battle plan. I I, I'm short one action point. Mm. We're not allowed to see the battle plan. <laughs> no, unfortunately. I mean, I could just YOLO it and um, it says yeah, two actions. Yeah, I mean, I could just draw one. Well, it says, actually, when drawing a battle plan, draw two, choose one, and place the other at the bottom of the deck. So I can draw two. I think that would be really good. Okay. So I'm going to spend two of my actions to draw two, and then choose one. All right. So the first one that we have access to is mechanically inclined. At any time, play this card on any roll that does not already have two engineering discounts. So any one except for my engineer. Uh, give it one additional engineering discount for the remainder of the game. Of the game, holy cow. Um, so that means that, like if I gave that card to your weapons officer, you could have two engineering symbols permanently, as opposed to just one. Yeah, the orange one. Oh, wow. The other one is, uh, at any time, move all the hostile aliens currently on the ship into the cargo hold. Mm -hmm. Discard this card after it has been used. <laughs> That's funny. I don't know if I like that. Yeah. I would, I would say... <sighs> Let me see them. I, I kind of like the whole give an orange symbol to someone else. Time of all of the hostile errands. Yeah, I would say... I would say that mechanically. Keep, all right, so that means... I can give this... I, I'm going to keep this for right now, and then I'll give it to someone when we're, we need it. Because I don't know who's going to need it at okay, this point. What if like you give it to your engineer? I, no, it says that someone that does not already have two oh, symbols. Oh, oh. So he cannot have a third one. This one goes to the bottom of the deck. Mm -hmm. That leaves me with a fourth action to spend. Mm -hmm. um, so I could take a tool, maybe. Let's see what kind of tools we have. That rifle, I'm not sure if I'm going to take that remote. Use the teleporter as a free action. Spend two tactical, less tactical in reinstalling or repairing. Um, I could, that could, no. Pistol to kill one alien hostile. The teleporting for free is pretty good too. Yeah, with the, with the Admiral though, where would he, where would he be most useful? I mean, I get, I mean, I want him to stay in the core so that um, he can fix stuff and draw cards for the engineer yeah. and draw battle plans. So, I mean, I might just give him the pistol so that mm -hmm. if aliens do pop up here, I'll be able to knock one out for free. You know what I mean? So I'm going to just take the pistol and that's my fourth action. And now we resolve this. Scanners are offline. Reduce shields by 10%. Um, discard all face-up alerts. So I can negate that. I can override it with uh, a blue card if you want me to. Should we override this being offline? Do we want to see what's coming? Yeah. All right. So I'm going to override the scanners being offline. And, and also with this being here, we've reduced the shields by 20% instead Ooh, of 10. Nasty. So that goes there. This card goes in the discard pile. And that's it for that. Now, does your engineer have a blue card? 
Um, I have to look. Okay. The next one is Science Lab Injuries. Add two hostile aliens to the Science Lab. All players are injured. Luckily, we're not really messing with the Science Lab right now. So no. that one I'm not too worried about. The comm being offline, that does worry me a little bit because no. um, the comm system is... I should here. be able to repair it. You can repair quickly. it while you're there. Um, to repair it, it would cost two red. Yeah, So I you have. can easily do it. That's not too bad. Though. That's actually perfect timing. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so for my turn, my engineer uh, has does have a blue. I could pass a blue to my admiral I would necessary. say pass it to this guy because he needs a blue to fire it, but it's one less action to fire. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's think how we're going to... Okay. For the first part, let's, let's get rid of some of these cards. So, the engineer says when repairing the jump core, you may do so for one action less. Okay. So um, instead of two actions. Didn't I have a tool, though, that... Did I put that tool back by accident? Did you? I had a tool that let me... Is it there? No. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Yeah, torch. There it is. Yep. I should put that. So, my torch says spend two less engineering when making a repair. So there's two, four, and then five. Mm -hmm. So this goes in the discard pile. This goes to side B. Um, and then I need to spend, when repairing the jump core, you may do so for one less action. So for one action, I just move this up by one. Now we're on the coward difficulty level. When he, they do that t three more times in order to win the game. So you have three more actions. Mm-hmm. Um, I could do it again. I mean, I have another orange card. I can get rid of the torch, spend one less, uh, one less engineering than making. Oh, it, yeah, it says spend one less engineering, not two. So this, this tool is actually worse on the B side. Wow. I would need um, another. another orange. Um, so I can take an orange from somebody I before the comm. I have an orange. I can give it to you. Okay, so I can use the comm system for one action. Okay, so that's two. Okay, so that's, you, do, you don't need it for repairing anything? I don't think so. Okay, so that's two. For my third action, I will spend the tool. This is gone now, so this goes uh, out of the game, I think. Okay. Um, and two of these, and two of these. So these go away. That's five. Special ability says when repairing the jump core, you may do so for one less action. So I'm up to there. Two more to go. Um... So that was my third action. Fourth action, um, I'm going to take the engineer card from the Admiral. Okay. Because the comp system will go offline shortly, and I want to, I want to, I want to keep my engineer. There. I want to feed the engineer cards so yeah. that we can repair this thing and, and win. Okay. So that was actually a, a productive turn, mm -hmm. I thought. So now we resolve that. Um, reduce the shields by ten percent. Uh, in this case, it's 20%, so they're down to 60. Okay. And comm system is offline. Okay, so that's done. Um, next is... Torpedoes. Reduce the shields by 10%. Torpedo tube is offline. Mm -hmm. Okay, so for tactical officer, um, I will repair... The comm the system? The system for one action. Okay, because you've got the two red symbols already. Yeah. It's good. Um, for my next two actions, I'm going to repair the shields. Okay. Uh, what do you need to do to do that? Is it just... Just two actions, because I have the two reds. Oh, you have the two reds. Good. Yes. So that goes up. Now, what's your special ability state? It just says I may draw two random... Oh, I can't, because it's offline. Yeah. But you can still repair the shields if you, I mean, you're the best person to do it. Yeah, I know. So, I mean, you, that we're going to take more damage coming up, so that would help yeah. to repair. You just won't get the bonus repair, or you won't get the bonus draw. Okay, so how about... Okay, so how about this then? How about... Alright, I did the one action to repair that, right? Right. You got three actions left, right? Yeah. So why not... Oh. Can you repair... Can you come here and repair any of those things or no? I can only repair this one. Mm. I wouldn't be able to repair this one. Wow, this one's tough to repair. I could leave the comm system off and repair this. Mm. No. You have to beam there. You already spent one action, right? But, but if I didn't spend that action, right? If I didn't spend it... Okay. 
Let's say if I didn't spend if it. If you beamed here for your first action, yes. then... And then repair this. For, you could. Um, you could. And then that would bring the skill deck back. You want to do that? Um, and then and then you can come back here in a future turn and, and repair. I don't have any skills to pass around right now. I like that. I actually would I okay. would rather fix this All right. first. All right, and then repair shields yeah. and then get cards for it. All right, so you're going to come here for one action. And repair this. So for three actions. For three yep. actions. All right, so that now, now that deck goes back to the skills pile. Yeah. Okay, so now we resolve this science lab injuries card. Which is hostile. Add two aliens to the science lab. All ali or all players here are injured. That's not too bad, actually. Yeah. I'm not worried about that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and now, oh yeah. Reduce shields by 20%. Are you, oh my gosh. We're going to take okay. so much damage. All right, so for, for my armory guy, I'm going to teleport over to the armory for one action. Right? Okay. And I will fire a torpedo. Do you have a blue card? I thought I did. Never mind, I don't. I didn't think you did. So where were you at? Never mind, I was here. Um, you could come to the CPU core and draw skill cards. CPU core? Right here. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, but it would be blindly from yeah. the deck. It could be any cards. I don't know what you would get. Mm. Um... You've got, I mean, you could also beam to, actually, if you beam to the core, if you go to the core, you have a uh, red symbol. You could repair that for, you can go one, yeah, actually, two, refresh cards, and actually, then you can draw two that you might need. I'll do that, I'll do that. Um, one here, right? Mm -hmm. Repair this for free, because I have a red. Um... Now I can draw up to three, right? Yeah, you draw three. Yep. One. Engineering. Two. Science. Three. It's a good thing I blue. didn't blind pick. And that was the... That was your second action. Okay. The refill is a free thing. Okay. Now this is going to be your third action. So my third action, I'll get a blue. Right? If, yeah, you can get a blue. Um, and... Well, here's the thing. Am I going to need the blue for... So to negate anything? anything coming up. This is, we're going to take, we're going to take 20% damage here, 30% damage here. That's 50. This will bring us down to 10%. Okay. I just don't know if we're going to do it. All right. So then I will just, I still have two actions. What are you going to use the blue for? To fire, to a, torpedo? fire a torpedo to kill that ship. Okay. What does the ship do? Every it adds 10% to every shield damage. Yeah. Um, so you've got two action points remaining, right? Yeah. Um, I, mean, I, guess, I guess I'll just blind pick both, both times then. Hold on. What do you need? Spend two I One, need a blue. Well, you're not, in, you're, in, you're not in the cargo bay, though. Uh, you're here, right? Yeah. So you went one repair. Now you've got um, two more left. So... I mean, you could take a command and feed it to me, or you can draw from the deck. I'll just... Or just beam to the armory for your next turn, and that way you can I get all that done. I can't feed it to you because our comm system's down. Oh, that's right. Yeah. So I was thinking of just, just blind picking twice and hoping for the best. Uh, okay. Um, <laughs> I mean, what else am I going to do? Um, hmm. Could have spend. Oh, I, uh, I have two actions left. Mm -hmm. I could go here and repair. This. You have two reds. I have one red and one free. Okay. Uh, do you want to repair the comm system with that? Do I? It's I, up to you. Yeah. All right. We'll do that then. All right. So you're gonna move three, four. Yep. And you have to spend a red card. Yep. All right. So comm system is fixed. That goes into the nope. Bottom right, no, oh, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Just You're good. Well, no, we repaired that. That's good. We, were, we repaired a lot of stuff. My only concern now is the shields. Yeah. So now this takes effect. Um, torpedo 2 is offline. Oh, now I have to go there and fix that. Okay. And uh, <laughs> reduce shields by 10%, but it's 20. technically 40. So, yeah, we're not oh, around 40. Okay. All right, so new card. What does that one say? Reduce shields by 10%. Internal sensors are offline. Discard face-up skills. Attached. I'm going to have to use a blue card. Uh, well, oh. whose turn is it? My my admiral? Yeah. 
I'm going to have to use that to override that direct hit. Wow. Because that's yeah. 30%. That's going to be, I have to, I have to get a blue card from here yeah. on my turn, which is now. Yeah. Um, so for my action, I'm going to one, mm -hmm. draw two. two. Um, you know what? Yeah. I could draw the engineering card and use the comm systems to pass it to my engineer um, for 3-4. Or I can draw another battle plan. Um, hmm. What is that battle plan again? This lets you add an engineering symbol to any character. So if your red guy comes here to fix this, I can give him this card and you, your red guy can fix it without spending an engineering card. You know what I mean? Or I can I can either get draw the engineer card and pass it to my engineer, or I can. Um, I'd say pass it to your engineer. I think yeah, because we need to get more blue cards so we can negate more things. So three, four. Yeah, so three, and then I'm gonna pass it to my engineer for four. Three. Okay. Um, oh, engineer. Okay. okay. So that's that. Now this direct hit takes effect. Um, I'm going to spend the blue one that I just picked up, mm -hmm. along with my two symbols on my card to negate this 30% direct hit, which is absolutely necessary at this point. Yeah. That goes discard pile. And the next, oh man, reduce the shields by 20%. What is up with these direct hits coming up? Holy cow. I can't even imagine the red ones being worse. <laughs> the orange and red ones are much worse. Ridiculous. Destroyed systems and... So it's your engineer's turn? Engineer's turn, okay. So the question is, can I do anything with this mess? Um, I need... You may do so for one less action. How many cards I, do you have? I have five, but I need... Um, you have six, right? Oh, no. No, I have five. I need another orange card to move that up one more. But, okay. Uh, actually, you know what? I have that. I have an end. Uh, I'm gonna, first thing I'm going to do is probably pass this command card. And actually, you know what? That direct hit, who's going to have that? Mm -hmm. Um... Your red guy. My, she's coming up soon. Meaning, I need to pass you as many blue cards as possible to avoid being destroyed because this will reduce it by twenty. That brings us down to twenty, and then this will destroy us because of this Why alien ship. cards? To override that direct hit. Oh. It's either that or destroy. If I destroy the alien ship, that's thirty percent. That would take us down to ten. Mm -hmm. So it's either I have the engineer. Repair the torpedoes. Not I could beam there, repair it, and then I've got a blue and a yeah. I'm, I'm surprised you wouldn't try this one because there's two more we need. Yeah, but we're dead in a couple of turns. What happened to my blue card oh, that I just yeah. had? Did I give it to somebody? What did you do? Oh, here it is. It's right here. Um, that's the thing. Oh, like, yeah. we're dead in two we turns. Reduce the shields by ten. So that's that'll bring us down to twenty percent because of this alien ship. And this would go offline. It's rough. And then, but it would be my turn then, and I would fix it. Would you fix this? I would fix this. Fix what? The shields. I would bring up shields. Oh, you can, okay. How many times can you do that? For free. Uh, I could do it twice. For two action points? Oh. Yeah, for two action points. No, it just says one action point. Or, or, no. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Two points. actions, two red, yeah. Um, so I can do it twice. So I guess the question is, I should destroy the torp. I, I need to. I need to. F to fire a torpedo. You need a blue and a red. Right. So I think I need to spend the blue card that I have. I've got a blue card. And a red. And a red. So I can come here for one action, repair okay. it, fire the torpedo, kill this. Okay. And then for my fourth action. Um, I don't know what I would do with Teleport my fourth. Teleport here. <laughs> Teleport back to engineering. Um, or, or... But that's, but you said this is going to go offline? Yeah, that's going to go offline next turn, the internal sensors. The, all those, all three of those cards all will be gone. All three of these. Mm. Um, I could draw, yeah, I guess beam back to engineering. Um, I would, st yeah, I don't know. I, I st or beam to the computer core so I can draw more cards from there. Good. 
But I think we need to get rid of this alien because this this is gonna hurt. Yeah. So um, I'm gonna do one mm -hmm. repair for free because I've got an orange symbol. Okay. That's two. Uh, two action points. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna spend. Oh, it costs two action points anyway. So I'm, this is my this is my turn. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna spend a blue and a red. To that goes in the discard pile. To fire torpedo, which destroys this alien ship. And that's my action. That's that's all, all right. everything I can do. So now this resolves. Reduce shields by ten percent. We're down to thirty percent. And internal sensors are offline, which is this. Okay. So these get discarded, and this flips over. Okay. I'm on space for one action. Next one is uh, an anomaly. Uh, players may not use or repair systems if no other player is present. Science Lab. If, if this is a two-player game, discard this card and draw another. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yeah, well, same thing with this one. I, I picked this one up. Oh, did you? Before you picked that one up. Okay. It's the same thing. Um, all players on the bridge are injured. Uh, <laughs> and external scanners are offline, which are Ooh, which is this. Okay. So basically, you're... Who's next? Your red guy? You're going to... The, your, your consequence is 20% shields gone. Your yellow guy is... His consequence yeah. is this is going offline mm -hmm. and everyone here is injured. So you want to move your yellow guy out of there yeah. before the end of his turn. Uh, my red person is going to teleport here. Oh, shoot, for one action, huh? That would be... What were you going to do? Repair shields? Yeah. yeah. You could do... You can repair once and then move away. Yeah, yeah I'll do that. I'm going to repair uh, once for two action points. So that's three action points. Now you're up to 40%. And you get to draw one from the skill deck, right? Yeah. So... The one, computer core is online. I can, I can do two. One, two. Two? Yeah, it Why says two? draw two random skills. From oh, yeah, cool. Point. Okay. Absolutely. So one, two. And then for your fourth action, you're going to want to move out of there so that you don't get... Yeah. Um, I'll probably... Um, Go back to the computer... Do you have a red on your Admiral? Or no? I do, but you need to move that guy out of there. I know, I know. I'm I do have a red. Uh, I can give it to you. No, no, no. I'm just choosing where where's my best place. I would say the computer course so that you can possibly repair it for the internal sensors on your next turn. Mm -hmm. It's up to you though. Unless there's a, uh, unless there's something in the cargo pod that you want on a future turn or. No, I think that's okay. Um. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Good. You're good? Alright, so you moved the... Okay, so now we're going to resolve that 20%. So we're done with 20. <laughs> oh my gosh. Shields are going down, Scotty. We're getting close... To, we're almost at the orange deck. Ooh, that one's gross. Uh, reduce the shields by 10%. Teleporter is offline. Well, luckily my engineer should be back here at some point to fix that. So my consequence for this guy is... It's going to be that... Uh, this, is, this is going to go away. This okay. it's gonna be disabled. Okay, and everyone actually, okay. when this happens, mm -hmm. those also go away. Like this teleporter offline. Like if we don't do anything about this, this will go offline. Then these this, get discarded. They get discarded, oh, and then really? the orange ones. We start drawing orange blindly. Yeah. Come the following turns. Okay. All right. Um. So we need I, we need to start giving our engineer orange cards. Bottom yeah. line. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah, I know. Okay, so your red guy is up, right? No, my oh, you're yellow. yellow guy. Okay. So um, you're in the armory. Um, I'm in the bridge. Oh, oh yeah, you're here. Okay. So he needs to be out of there anyway, unless we can override that. Or we can fire a torpedo to... Firing a torpedo at an alert will stop it from happening that turn. So if you fire a torpedo at it... Oh, I thought it only took away the, the, the ship. No, it does two things. Oh, sorry. So if you come here and fire torpedo... I can't, I don't have a blue card. Oh, you don't have a blue card, alright. Um, the other cards? option is come down here and repair the internal scanners. Yeah. And then that gives us, you can draw two from there. And we just have to hope to get more engineer cards so we can yeah. start repairing that. Um, that orange deck, I'm a little scared for, you know. Yeah. Okay. I will do this okay. for one action. Cool. For two actions, I'll repair this for free. What you mean? Action number two, repair yeah. it for free. Uh huh. And that that one, comes out. Nice. Two. Nice. 
Very nice. Nice. Okay. Blues, I like that. Okay. Um, for, that's two actions, right? That was, yes, you have two left. Okay. So you could... I'm going to grab this one. Okay, for three. Bring this out. Uh-huh. I've got a green there. I will use the comm system to probably pass to you. And in case you want to override something, right? Um, for the admiral coming up? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. So now it's your turn. All right, so that scanner thing... Um... Uh, that goes... This takes effect. Okay. External scanners are offline. That's fine. To each two red to fix, so your, your red guy's going to have to come and fix that. Yeah. Um, this goes away as well, because now that that's offline, you discard all of these. All players in the bridge are injured. So no, 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 no. Oh. That stays right... Stay, okay. Yeah. Okay. And then we just draw from here now at the end of every turn oh. until these are fixed. Okay. Until until the until the scanners are fixed, those stay right there. Oh, okay. The only reason you would draw like that on just the table is to see what's coming. I see. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Now it's your turn. <laughs> okay, Admiral. Well, luckily I've got that blue card, so we can. What I, if it's like three blue card and five red cards? I don't know what it is. We'll find out. <laughs> Um, That's funny. can I, okay, I don't have any orange to pass to him. Um, I've got two engineering, I, I need one more orange card to give to my engineer. Mm. Um, you could blind pick. I'm going to have to start blind. Or. I could take another command card for, um. Or you can use the comm system and take this engineer and then use it again to give it to your engineer. No. No? no? That's too much. Really? No, because my engineer can do that on his next turn. He'll just take from you. Um, why spend two... Like, I'll just have I'll, my, my chief engineer, mm -hmm. on his turn, I'll just oh, take from yeah. you. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Rather than pass to him, pass to him. <laughs> All right. That's a waste of one action. All right. Um, so, I mean, I could draw battle plans as well. Um, I'm going to draw blindly first. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's, draw the, let's do the battle plans. I want to okay. see um, if this will help us at all. So this is this is act this two actions here, um, and the admiral can draw battle plans from anywhere. I've got fire when ready. At any time, fire the torpedo tube as a free action. Torpedo tube must be online, and you must have an available torpedo. You do not need to be in the armory to use this card. Cool. That's nice. This card after use. Grow the beard. At any time, play this card on any roll that does not already have two command discounts. Give it one additional command discount for the remainder of the game. What that, that same thing as this engineer thing, where. Um, if I give it to this guy, he'll have a permanent blue symbol. Oh. Oh! That way so you can fire torpedoes. Exactly. You can fire more torpedoes Finally, for free. Without looking for a... I'm tempted. I'm just going to give this to you now. Because this yellow, and this, I mean, this is perfect. This is a perfect spot yeah. for him. So I'm actually going to give this to you now. Okay. And I'm going to just... I don't think this fire when ready is necessary when we've got that. Mm -hmm. So, um, I'm going to give this to you. Now you've got a permanent blue symbol on the yellow card. On your yellow character. What's two command discounts? Uh, that's this oh, here. The blues? Okay. Yeah, see the blues? blues are um, called commands. Yeah, I've got two blues already on my admiral, oh, so I can't give him three. Otherwise, I'd be stacking. That's really good. Yeah, so that was two actions. Now, I can do that again, or I can, I'm, I'm tempted to draw a skill card blindly to see if it's an engineer thing. Mm. How many cards do I have? Or do I want to draw that command there? Is any of your characters going to use command? No, not now. No, not anymore. All right, I'm going to draw that command okay. for three. Can you replace that? Yeah. And what is that? Tactical. Tactical crap. Yeah. Um, I, I need engineers. Um, How many actions do you have left? One more? I have one more uh, action left. I'm going to, I think I just need to continue drawing cards to pass to um, my engineer. So I'm going to draw blindly. I need an engineer card. Command. Okay. Well, I'll have plenty of commands <laughs> that's, that's to, on my turn. I can override. Potentially. You can potentially. Override. We'll see. All right. So here we go. Orange cards. Uh, reduce the shields by thirty <gasps> percent. That dead. will kill us, but we can override. Teleporter is offline. I'm going to spend two symbols and a blue to override that. Oh, it still cost three. Yeah, it's override nice. three. So that would have killed us had we not had that. I really have to start repairing things. <laughs> yeah. So this goes in the discard pile. Okay. Oh man, that's rough. Right. Okay. Um, Yellow's turn or or uh, orange's turn. Yeah. Um. So orange. Engineered. I have no idea what's coming up. It could be another torpedo thing. I, I don't have enough blue. I mean, this could be it. Um, 
Be My engineer is where? In the middle? Oh, he's there. Oh, weird. Okay. Um, you said you had an orange card? I did. Do you want it? I mean, I could do... I can move there for... I just have to hope that that card's not bad. <laughs> it's either that or I pass two blue to my... Do you have two reds? Uh, what's... To fix the shields? Oh, yeah, good point. Um, I, do, I have one red. I have another one. Okay. Um, I can do that. If you pass me one red, um, then I spend my two reds. I can repair the shield by... What happened to it? Oh, I thought I had two reds. What was I looking at? Here, take that back. Uh, maybe I was looking at the wrong deck. Yeah, I was looking at my, my Admiral deck. My Chief Engineer deck has two Engineer and one Science. Mm. So, I can't do that. Um, you can fix this? I probably. I'm going to pass. I'd have to pass an Engineer card to him. So you said you had an Engineer I card. I had an Engineer card. Alright, see could, it. We could probably win, like, the next round. Assuming we survive the yeah. alerts. Yes. <laughs> um, okay, so if you want to pass me the engineer, it's either that or if I can. No, you can I right. have I have two tacticals I'm never going to use. So if you used all your action points, I could repair the external repair. scancers and see what's coming. But then we could see what's coming, but then we wouldn't be able to do anything about it. Well, that's what I'm saying, just to repair the shields. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought you meant the external scanners. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I could repair the shields up to thirty percent. <laughs> uh, and hope to hope that okay. nothing else happens. Do you want to do that instead, and then? It's up to you. I don't know what else is coming. I don't either. It's either it's either I repair another thing here, or I go here and repair. Well, it's up to you. No, it's a it's a joint decision. <laughs> um. What would you do? How many orange cards do you need in order to? I need I need three. This just three. I have two already. Okay. Um, I've got two in my hand, so I need one more to two. repair that. And then I need three more orange cards after that to repair it again. So do we have, collectively, do we have three orange cards sitting between all of us? I do not have any uh, except for these two, which I'm going to use. So we need three more orange cards. In total, right? Yeah. You've got one. You're, if one. you give it to me, so besides that one that you have, mm -hmm. do you have any other orange cards? So we need three more orange cards out of this deck. And then to my engineer to I would win the say, game. Then I would say repair the bridge. All right. So one, and then you give me two yes. red cards. Yeah. And then you might as well just discard them. Oh. No, because it costs two action points to repair. Yeah, three, four. I repair one of them. I, 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 no, because you moved here one, right? Right. Two. Oh. Three. Oh yeah, 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 four, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, then I'll go to engineering. Oh. It's my other. It's my other. Yeah. All right. Engineering. One. Pass me an orange for two. <laughs> two. For three, I will spend three engineer cards and two symbols and one action because that's my special ability to move this up one more. Okay. And these go discard. Now I've got a fourth action to take. Um, <laughs> I could go back to. I could teleport someone somewhere. Um, do you have any plans? I can move. I can move um, your red guy to the bridge if you want. That way, on your turn, you'll you can spend more actions repairing. Oh, that's a really good idea, actually. I okay. Like we just have to hope that that orange card is not going to murder yeah. us. Yeah. All right. All right. So that's my fourth action. Okay. So here we go. Alien frigate ship. Whenever the shields are damaged, increase the damage by twenty percent. Okay. To destroy it, we need a torpedo. Okay. So it's just an alien ship. Okay. It's not too bad actually. Um. What um, did it say? <laughs> any damage, twenty percent. So anytime we get hit now, in the future we lose. Okay. So what I'll do. <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah. So what I can do is. If you repair twice, though, I that would bring you up to forty percent. But was, if there's a twenty percent card in here that gets. Yeah. That's 20 plus 20 is 40. Mm -hmm. That's going to stink as well. We'd have to hope that the next card is not an attack card. Your yellow would have to come down here and destroy this. Yeah. So I'd say repair as much as you can. And then for your yellow's turn, assuming what I, he gets What done, I could do is repair once and destroy the torpedo. Oh, no. Okay. You're not in the same room. Yeah. Shoot. Okay. So I will repair. Twice. But you get to draw, what, four cards? Uh, That's actually good. Yeah, 
But I can only hold, I only... But you can discard hold. anything that's not orange. Or you can get rid oh, of... Really? You can get rid of... Get, we're not using science. So you can kill the science cards that you might have. I'm not using reds for... Right. So you can, yeah, whenever you get above six, you just discard down. Or do you want to... Or should I repair the external sensors? Repairing it will... I mean, do you have any way to negate what's coming? I mean, like, you don't have three blue okay, to override, yeah. so All it doesn't right. matter. All right, it's so either... I will use my action to repair that once, right? Uh, yeah, so that the goes shields. up to 30%. Yeah, and I'll draw two skill cards. Right. Mm -hmm. One, two. Okay. And I have to discard down to... Six. Six. Oh, I have six. Okay, fine. I'll repair it again. So you're up to 40. Yep. I'll draw two more. One. Okay. Two. And I have to get rid of two. Okay. I'd say get rid of the tacticals yeah. if you're not going to use them. I am. For that character. Cool. Do you have any engineers there? What did you get? Two engineers. Nice. So we're two-thirds of the way there. Mm-hmm. Now we just have to hope that this is not a 20% or more yeah. Yeah. damage thing. Which is add four hostile aliens to engineering. Okay. But that... If we can get a tool and get a rifle and murder them all in one shot, that would be awesome. Yeah. Um... So okay. one, two, three, four. That's going to be another obstacle to overcome. Okay. All right. So, so now it's the yellow guy's for turn. This guy, I will. Oops, that goes. Um, okay. once per turn, you may. Okay. So, hold on. Okay. I could fire a torpedo and get rid of that ship. That that would be ideal since mm -hmm. our shields are low. So one. One. Uh, you have a blue and a red. Uh, blue and red. Yes. Oh, I get, okay. So that's two, two, three, that's... because firing a torpedo is two actions. Oh no no no! no. My ability. That's right. It's that you went one, you went two. you went one uh -huh. fire torpedo. That's two. Mm -hmm. Your ability says one less action yeah, point, okay, right? Okay. So you've got two left. So got two left. Mm -hmm. Um. Um. Is there any way that? Um. I mean, you can. You can fire another torpedo. And stop an alert from coming up. Uh, yeah, it's true, actually. We'd be down to one torpedo. But if we can get orange to... If we can get orange cards to them, uh, to my orange guy, we'd have to kill this. The other option is you go to the cargo hold and get a rifle or something. Well, I could no. I could get a rifle and kill all those aliens in the engineering thing. Well, you've got um, actually the security station. Do you have a red symbol? Mm -hmm. Kill one hostile alien in any location. You could spend two actions... To kill two of these guys. That way I've only got two left to murder. I could, yeah. Um, it's either that or yeah, fire another torpedo to negate what's coming up. Ooh. Or repair again. Oh no, no, that's, that's not, I'm sorry, yeah, you can't repair. It's, it's either torpedo to negate what's coming up mm -hmm. or kill two of these. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking. Um, because... Well, or you could fire one another torpedo to negate and then one to take out one of these. That's what you just said. No, what I said was, fire a torpedo. <laughs> I don't know what I just said you, now. You said, you said the same thing three I times. I forgot about your ability. You could fire a torpedo, then kill one, or you can just kill two. If you kill two, I can't you kill, cannot- How do you kill two? This security station. Oh, that's you've got two, You've got two points left. You've got two action points yeah. remaining, correct? Yeah. You can use this twice to kill two aliens, oh, or use fire torpedo. torpedo one, and then one remaining to get one alien. Mm. But then... We're getting low on torpedoes, but we're... But then, but then you wouldn't be... You, when the engineering bay comes around... Oh, actually, with your admiral... My admiral, I'd like to remove the... Alien infestation. Yeah, with your rifle, right? If you pick up a rifle. I can go to I can go to the cargo hold, pick up a rifle, and, and I get <laughs> one, two, three murder for okay. free. So maybe not even I would I'm probably gonna end up over That still leaves you with one action left if you negate this. Here's I'd say we should probably Dang. Here's the thing. Do you have any orange? The pass? I don't have. I only have greens. Okay. Um. Hold on. So what if? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. What if? I. Oh, I know. Oh no, that's not gonna work. Oh, dang it. 
I really want to fix those external sensors. I really do. Mm. Well, your red guy's there. I'd say let's... Mm -hmm. well, right. We can negate the next two alerts. If you fire a torpedo... But that's the thing. If we go lower and lower, it's just going to get... Who knows for how... I don't know. But that's the thing. Like I think negating alerts is only beneficial if we actually know what's coming up. You know? Yeah. Because what if like something is not directly okay. affected with the shields. Right. We have no idea. So then, in that case, just murder two aliens? Or... <sighs> I mean, this, actually, my pistol, instead of going to the cargo hold and picking up a rifle, I've got a pistol. For a free action, I can murder one of them. I can teleport one, murder for free, flip this over, mm -hmm. uh, murder for free, and that's... So I, get, I can kill two of those aliens for free. Mm -hmm. So if you use this twice... Yeah. Murder two of them. Yeah. Next turn, my admiral murders two for free. Then I can maybe draw more battle plans. Yeah, actually, that sounds like a good idea. All right, I'll do that. Okay, so you're going to use this yes, twice. Yes, twice. Okay, now it's your turn. All right, alert. Oh my gosh. Um, reduce the shields by 20%. Computer is offline. Discard the skill deck. Fun stuff. So now we're down to 20%. Could have been worse. We really got it. We need orange. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So that kind of... So for this, maybe you should pick up a battle. Maybe I should... <laughs> well, it's either that or maybe I should repair those computers now right away while I'm here. I mean, I was going to come here and do that, but I'm thinking maybe I should have my engineer do it now. Mm. I mean, I don't have the orange cards necessary. I do have the two waiting for you. I need a third one. That's the thing. I need a th we need more. We need more orange cards than what's on the table. Yeah. So we need to repair the computers as quickly as possible. Yeah. So I'm gonna spend three action points to repair that. So go ahead and uh, repair that. That brings it back. Now, do all these cards come back here? Or? Yeah, all of them. Okay. Mm -hmm. And for my fourth action, I could draw blind and hope for an orange, <laughs> or. Um, At this point, I, we have to cycle cards as quickly as possible, I'm yeah. thinking. Yeah, I think so. So I'm thinking, um, I'm going to draw blindly and hope for oh another... Oh my gosh, you know what we could have done? What? We could have... A long time ago, we probably could have fixed that with the scanner. That stinks. What is it? When Spend two less tactical when reinstalling or repairing. Oh, yeah. Dang. That's all right. Well, we've got... I can negate this one coming up. Um, I, for my last action, did I draw a card? I don't remember. Darn. I did not draw a card yet. Uh, for my fourth action, for my, this guy. Um, for this guy? Yeah, I'm gonna just draw blindly. Good luck, player. Command, of course it is. Well, you can obstruct it, right? Yeah, so, um, well, hopefully. Uh, reduce the shields by 20%. Uh, comm system is offline. I'm going to negate it <laughs> with the Admiral. So, that Thank goes goodness. away. Yeah. We are saving off death. Mm -hmm. okay. um, I still have to give this mechanically inclined to somebody. What is that? Give an engineering symbol to somebody. Oh, I should have given that to me. <laughs> well, you didn't use it. You haven't. No one's used engineering skill cards but me yet. Yeah. yeah. One, two, three. Um, yeah, so for my engineer... You have to grab these, right? I need to kill these and grab those. Yeah. So for... It would be kill these two and then take those two engineer cards and then hope for a third one from somebody to win the game. Mm -hmm. Stave off death for, you know. So that's one, two, three, four? Yeah, that's basically. All your actions? Yeah. Nasty. One, two, three, four. Well, how about just not killing the, the aliens? But you said we can't use the comm system, right? But this one has... That's a teleporter, though. Oh, yeah, that's right. Bella. Okay, kill those aliens. <laughs> one, two. <laughs> Three, four. Three, four. Two engineers. So I need one more engineer card. Let's hope that this is not a damage thing. Four hostile aliens to the computer core. Oh, rough. That's okay. That's all right. That's all right. I'd rather have aliens than shields. This is where the... All right. It's my turn. Yeah. That rifle would really come in handy right about now. All right. Um, so that's your red guy, right? Yeah. So... What would your red guy do? Repair more shields? I I say stay there and repair shields because we keep getting murdered. 
I have a command that I would love to give you so you can neglect another. I've got one. more command. I've got okay. uh, two more command cards. Oh, nice. Okay. So, yeah, I guess I'm going to have to repair shields. Oh, yeah, I am. I'm going to repair shields uh, for two actions. Right, right, and draw more. One, two. So 30%. I'm going to repair it again. Repair it, so 40%? Yeah. One, two. Okay. All right. I have a plan. Okay, so now we draw from the alert deck, right? Mm, hold on, let me get rid of my stuff. All right, yeah, discard stuff that you're not going to use. Discard. Draw from the alert. All right, <sighs> go. Add four hostile aliens to the bridge. We're down to one. Ooh. We need to, we need to murder. Ooh, that's You've got, your tactical officer can get rid of a couple. Okay. From where they are. Oh, that stinks, because I wanted to pass. You could I use. I have one engineer card. Well, um, well, this only costs um, one to use, so you can kill three of them. I can. Or, like, you can pass me... All right, let's think this out. Oh, I got it! I well, no, I... we, have to, we have to figure out... Um, no, 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 I, I think I... One, two... Torpedo two, but also negate the next alert coming up. So if we negate the alert completely, we won't have to worry about what's coming up. One torpedo to negate the next alert that would come to the Admiral's turn. Mm -hmm. I could probably negate that as well. So as long as we can get an engineer card to my engineer, yeah. we can negate two alerts. So all we need to do now is pass me, um, like I'm saying, yeah. with the yellow guy, fire torpedo doing. with two to actions negate to negate that from coming up. One. It, it'll be one. Actually. One action. Okay, so let's do that. But not now. Right? Maybe at the end of the turn? Hey, sure. Okay. Okay, so, so I have got, three actions left. Just, you have three actions. What I want to do is... Pass me an orange card. Do you have an orange card? In no. Your, oh, you don't have an orange card. I do not, and I can't because there's stuff there. So I have to kill these aliens. Oh, so you mean mur use these to murder yeah. that? Okay. So I have to do three actions to murder... Well, the problem now is... You can kill one with your admiral, can't you? I can. Oh, I can kill two with my admiral. All right. Um, so I'll just kill three here. That way you can have more actions or whatever, right? Wait. Well, let, let's let's figure out what we're gonna do. You can you pass an orange card? No, I only have green. Can you move out? You can move out of this room though. What are you talking? Follow about? follow me on this. Ignore the aliens. Move out. To I'm not the tactical officer. I'm the I'm this guy. You can still use the teleporter to teleport someone out. Okay. Teleport this guy somewhere else. Okay. That's one. Okay. Give the orange card from red to yellow. That's two. For three. But wait a second. That teleport. That giving card is pointing to the bridge. There's aliens on the bridge. So oh, I see what you're saying. So we wouldn't be able to. Pass until all those aliens are gone. What I was thinking, what mm -hmm. I was thinking, okay. was going to this to the cargo hold, getting the rifle, and just wiping out those aliens, so that we can actually pass the engineer. Right, but to you. you'd have to fire the torpedo first. One, two, uh, pick up for three. Here for four. Wipe for four. Huh? Wipe for four. No. Oh, I have to be at the current location? Yeah, you have to be at that location. Oh, that's so, nice. do this. Torpedo first. One. Cargo hold, two. Pick up, three. Right? Dang. Here, four. Use the rifle, knock them out. Your torpedo would have negated but the next alert. this is, it would be a fifth action. No, it wouldn't. It says for one action. Can follow me. Torpedo, one, two, pick up three. three. Oh, oh, that's a, that that costs yes. an action to use. Yes. Oh, I thought it was a free action. No. Okay. Um, what about anything? Hmm. It's either that or fire the torpedo for two. Oh no, for one. Beam here for two, then three, four. Uh, that's yeah. That was my plan B option. Because you can you can do two. Yeah, I think I might actually do that. Okay. Um, okay, so you're going to fire torpedo for one. Yeah, to get rid of that. Next alert. Whatever that alert Come is. here. Two. Uh -huh. And then murder. Two. Or, I mean, you could... I think these... You could stay here and just murder... I mean, you've got this security station. So oh. you can stay there and murder three of them. Oh, yeah. So just 
Torpedo for one. Use the security station three more times to murder three of them. Okay. Okay. So the torpedo kicked in. Mm -hmm. No alert coming this round, right? Okay. <sighs> Great. Okay. So now it's the admiral's turn. No, no. We use the torpedo. We don't draw that. Do we discard it? No. It just we. Uh, it just stays there. Really? Mm -hmm. That's weird. Torpedoes negate the drawing of a new card. Oh, uh, okay. The only time a torpedo destroys anything is when it's a ship. Okay. The override, on the other hand, overrides the alert and gets rid of it. Okay. Um, okay, so now um, the admiral's turn, and I can use a skill to also negate. Um, the question is... Alright. If I were to beam here, kill an alien, take it from you, give it to my engineer... How many... How many? You need one more. Uh, right. So, actually, that might work. Mm -hmm. So, let me do this. I'm going to beam here for one. And that, I can do that because of that. Mm -hmm. um, two is use my pistol to kill an alien for free. It's a free action. Mm -hmm. Flip to side B. Now I can grab an orange card from your character. And just pass it to Pass, and then for my fourth act, or it's one kill for free, take for two, pass for three... Now I've got one more action that I can spend. Um, with what I've got, um, I've got two blue... I just have to hope the next alert is something I can override. Mm -hmm. um, I'm tempted to beam to... Um, I'm tempted to beam here in the event that he needs any help. But... Um, hmm. Or at least in the hallway, in case... Eh, no. no. I think that's fine. Yeah. All right, I'm going to be in here for four. In case in case, yeah. in case there's an alien that shows up again in the future. In case I can't override this. All right. So, um, no. let's draw. I can't override it. Add three hostile aliens to the active player's location. Active player is injured. Mm. So I'd have to... But I can override. Yep. So I can spend two command, one command. There you go. You can put that in this card. And now my engineer's turn. I've got um, three engineer cards. I've got two symbols. That moves that up, and we win! Barely. Nice. Well done. What was the next one? What was the next one, I wonder? Uh, not too bad. What was that one? Add three active... Oh, that's another one. Same thing. Yeah. Add three more hostile aliens to the active player's location. This one would have probably been scary. The, the, the next one was reduce shields by 30%. Active player chooses and discards two skill cards. That's nasty. And there you have it, a quick run through of The Captain is Dead. What did you think? It was awesome. Sorry, forgive me, I have allergies. Um, <laughs> I, I beat her up off camera. <laughs> yeah, beat me in the game. Yeah. Oh, wait, it's a co op. It's a co op game. We, we <laughs> collectively won by the skin of our teeth. That was on the novice difficulty mode. Um, had we played it on normal, we'd have to do that one more time. Three more engineering cards to win the game. That, that's insane. Uh, I don't know how anyone can win this on normal. We have to get really lucky. Yeah. Um, we were on the orange deck, and um, some of those red cards Idly was looking at, they're actually really nasty. Uh, red card security breach. Add six hostile aliens to the active player's location. Jump core is destroyed. Game over. The players lose. <laughs> Computer is destroyed. Discard the skill deck. All players in the computer core are injured. At the beginning of the turn, each player reduces the... Sh uh, at, the at the beginning of each player's turn, reduce, reduce the shields by 30% to ship. Anomaly, players' hand size is reduced to two cards. <laughs> reduce shields by 50%. These are like death cards. Yeah. Like literally death cards. These are... I, I gotta say, I'm really enjoying... I really enjoyed this. Uh, you are about to say more? It's okay. Um... I didn't like that, um, I don't know, I, I, didn't, I didn't like that being the red tactical officer, I kept having tactical red cards and I didn't know what to do with them. Yeah. So it was just kind of, I don't know. You were drawing them blindly or what happened? How'd you get them? I was, yeah, I was drawing, because every time you repair the shields, you draw two cards blindly. Okay. But they were almost always tactical cards, so I didn't know what to do with them. I wish there was something. Well, the fact that you were able to go over your hand limit, and then you can discard yeah. what you didn't want, you could do that. It's or... such a waste of discarding. Yeah, it, that's RNG. There, there's a, there is some RNG in this. Especially in the very beginning, where the cards that we drew for the first five damage 
events. One was to get a ship, which increased damage by 10%, and then we immediately following that got a damage to our shields, which so they compounded on each other. Yeah. So, um, I personally, I really like this. I'm a big fan of sci-fi. You guys know this by now. Star Trek, Star Wars. This definitely has that Star Trek vibe about it. Um, I love the cooperative nature. Um, I don't like how difficult it is, but Pandemic is just as, if not more, difficult. So, like, this is this is the standard for cooperative games. Overly difficult, and if you win, then you feel really good about it once you do. Um, if I were to make any changes to make the game easier for casual play, I would increase hand size. I would... Um, I don't know what else I would do. Um, I'm sad that we didn't get to see the science or the anomaly stuff. Yeah, was... we didn't even the anomalies we didn't get into and the upgrades we didn't get into. But we didn't really have a science. We didn't have a green character. Yeah. There's a scholar there had a blue, red, and green symbol. Yeah. Um, we've got two green symbols on that character. The sideboard. This one didn't have anything. But seven card limit. What? Oh, I just noticed that. The gray Eight ones card. in the back are even crazier. Are Eight they? card limit, but it's a hologram. The hologram can't do particular things, though. Um, if the teleporter or computers are offline, you are returned to and confined to the computer core. <laughs> so the, the gray ones are like special characters. Yeah, that's so I, cool. I love, I love that. I love that there's so many different character roles. Three per color plus the gray ones, which are different. Um, I, I love the, the idea of a ship and, and moving characters around. It might, reminds me of FTL you were saying earlier. Yeah. Faster Than Light is a video game where you have a ship and you're trying to survive and repair damage and blow up enemy ships. And this had that FTL vibe about it because you're trying to complete a goal before you're destroyed. Same thing here. But yeah, to make it easier, I'm glad that the difficulty slider there. Um, it, it says coward as that one difficulty, but to me that's like, that's like easy mode, kinda? Like, that's that's like easy to normal. I can't even imagine it on Insane. This is already hard enough. Yeah. It, I, it, I think our strategy was a little off, honestly. But there was only so much we could do. Our shields were blown up within the first, I think first our, half of the game, so we had to do something. I think the tactical officer has to like stay on the bridge to repair. Just, yeah, the, the really crew members need to stay where they're at rather than move around so much. We spent a lot of time moving around. Yeah. Maybe we should have stayed where we were at more often than not. Um, it's kind of difficult to do that, though, when we were injured right from the get-go. We had to move <laughs> to the infirmary. But, I mean, there's, there's cool. I, I really like this. Um, okay. I, 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 I would play it again, for sure. I would play it again. It, it, was, it was fun. It just, I don't know, there was something missing about it. But I really did like what, it. What, dice? That. And, and this would be better as a digital game. I, I, would, I would love to see this as a, as a digital game, personally. That, that would be awesome. You mentioned a game called Tharsis that is a computer game that Everybody is about, it has dice rolling. It's like a, it's like, it's a dice rolling ship game where you're repairing rooms and negating damage by assigning dice to various systems. That would be, that would be cool to have as a digital game too, I think, is, is this one. Um, the complaint that I had though was the rule book. Absolutely horrible. I had to reread it a couple of times and I had to look up at least five or six different rules because I couldn't get clarification on what I wanted to know. Um, so if you're playing this in a casual setting, try and find someone that knows this game already to teach it to you. Or Ask a lot of questions on the board game deep forums, or do a lot of researching yourself, because there's a couple of things in the rule book that were not answered. The orange blocker, it said, put this off to the side and set up, and you'll use it later. We didn't even use it. When later? Had I had I not looked it up, I would not have known. I thought maybe we missed this halfway through the game, but I looked it up prior, and it's it's an orange card related to an orange card. I had to look that up because I didn't know what it was for. Uh, I just said, we'll use it later. The rule book says, we'll use that later. So I, I don't like how vague the rule book is in some places. I would have preferred examples on, okay, if this happens, then you need to follow this, 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 and this step. If this were to happen to your ship, then do this, this, and this. Like an FAQ of what could happen and what you should do to uh, play out the game appropriately. I think, I think the game needs like an FAQ section. Um, X-Wing Miniatures game has an entire rule book, well not rule book, but it's, there's an entire booklet of FAQ stuff. <laughs> I think this game needs something like that, but smaller, obviously. It's not as complicated as X-Wing. Yeah. But, so anything, other, anything else before we go? This is the only card that talks about the orange, but... The anomaly? 
Yeah, but it's a, it's if if it's a two player game, discard it. So you don't even use the. Art. Part of me wondered if we should have like okay, that's another question. We broke the rules by giving us four characters. In a two player game, I wonder if these cards assume that we have two characters. Well, so maybe we should have followed them? I don't know. No, two characters would have been way harder. Well, that's why, I bet you that's why these anomalies were designed to be taken out of a two-player game. Mm. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know. Like, these are, these are questions that, <laughs> I, again, my opinion on board games is, it's your game house, roll it how you want. I don't care. If the rule, even if the rule book says, do it this way, if you feel that a rule should be changed to suit your gaming group, do it. It's your game. You play how you want. You're not out... You don't have to prove to anyone that you are the king of board games. You know, it's stupid. Put that on your resume that you beat a board game. Follow it in any way. So how do you solve anomalies? You just use... You have to go to the science lab and do the, the anomaly action. The research? Yeah, you need to spend one action and four green science cards. We didn't use one science card the entire game, I don't think. I was trying so hard... But yeah. my weapons guy doesn't. He's too stupid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. He's, he's not. Just, he's he not, just shoots torpedoes. He's not. He's not Spock. He's Worf. Yeah. Could you imagine Worf trying to do what Spock does? No. That's most. He'd bash the scanner on the first day of the job. I think. Take a bat lift to it. Anyway, so that was the captain is dead. Um, any other thoughts before we go? It was a fun game. I liked it. I would play it again. I recommend it. Agree. I would play it again. Um, but just be warned, if you do play this for the first time, you may be frustrated because the rules aren't clearly stated in some cases. But if you're not afraid to house rule, then more power to you. Uh, the Captain is Dead. If you guys haven't already, subscribe to us on Twitch and YouTube. That way you can stay up to date with any new content I put to publish. This is Vincent Idly. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys next time. Bye, guys.